Oke. Hello and welcome to Bourbon Street Bookers. We have missed y'all. It's been a while. And we have with us tonight, y'all, <laughs> my sis, our sis, Sabrina B. Scales. Hey, hey. hey. Sabrina B. Sabrina. Hey, the, the, listen, the mafia chick. What else is it called? The brick. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> and y'all know, before I jumped in Bourbon Street Bookers with Allegra, I came to the Bricks first with my girl. Yes, hey, you. Keisha. That's my partner right there. Cry. <laughs> hey, Keisha. Hey, Asia. I can't even see everybody. I need to switch screens. Thank y'all for joining us. Uh, I don't know. There should be a spot that says comments where you can comment. See okay. Like on the right side. Oh, I'm scared. I'm gonna leave the screen. Kara's here. Uh, we expecting some of those diamonds to roll through. Miss Ramona is coming through. I know girl, she's coming through. That's she gonna shut it down. <laughs> Y'all can cancel Christmas when we're when Miss Ramona get here. <laughs> well, Christmas. first off, why y'all? Why we waiting on everybody to strut in? Let me show y'all what I got on. <sighs> Lord. Oh Lord! Let me mercy. let y'all know that this discussion would not be had if it wasn't for plus him. <laughs> plus. With his fine ass, Lord, oh, my God. baby maker, that baby maker, baby. Let me tell you, <laughs> but I'm scared of him. Hey, Martha and Daddy, they go my diamonds. I don't Man, like ladies. children, and if a man tell me he gonna get me pregnant with triplets, girl. Yeah. <laughs> This man, <laughs> let me he tell you, I don't want to embarrass somebody. I won't call a name out because they ain't even made it in the house yet. But somebody said they was on a date with Plus last week. And I was like, oh, oh OK. I say, so what you wanted, a baby mamas? <laughs> they said, no babies. I swallow. Oh. <laughs> Are we disgusting? Oh, no, oh. <laughs> wow! You couldn't wait. All I want to say. You couldn't say. wait to say that. You saw my glass. You couldn't wow. wait to say that. Oh my god! <laughs> All I'm Wait, saying is, I ain't saying say no names, but I she shut me up. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, oh wait, child. <laughs> I can't with the disrespect. What do you say to that? I was like, since that had to be a hell of a date. You hear me? Nothing. Oh this my day, God. Ain't no babies here. You hear me? <laughs> so if y'all are here, that means y'all didn't jump in Sabrina's latest releases because it's double trouble. The yeah. crew. The crew. Once again, as a result of. <laughs> Brought to we you have, by <laughs> We have the, the crew. Now, before we get started, Sabrina got something to share with us. Do I? Uh-huh. It's sitting right next to <laughs> you. <y 'all. laughs> Nothing. Just a little, old, little old paperback. And I might give one of these away tonight. It, Flip it's it around beautiful. so they can see both sides. It's both oh. of them in one book, y'all, to combine them for y'all. So listen, whatever you giving away, I'm signing up for. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Thank y'all for joining us tonight. Oh, we got Storm in the house and Tina. Hey guys, so Ladies. happy y'all could join us tonight. Y'all, we are about to get in this. We are about to get in this. We're about to get in this because let me tell you something. Anytime we can talk about a vibrator. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm about to look, let me look this up and see if this is real. Because if you do another box, you need to put that in the box. My so let me girl, I know they have, I know they have the remote control ones, but I don't know if they have pearl ones. So I'm gonna go on Amazon while y'all talking real quick. 
and see those pearl panties. My girl was just like, um, so this not my size. <laughs> Yeah, they supposed hey, to be another one of our diamonds and made it in the house. Hey, sis, hey, girl, I had to tell know. them about our uh inbox um message. I didn't call out a name and say who, but I was telling them about that message where sis told me she swallowed and I just wasn't ready. I... <laughs> that wasn't so Chanel. Wait. I know Chanel didn't say that. Not Chanel, good girl. Ooh. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that? that's on Amazon. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong there way. You go oh, right there. Oh, shit. They well, got pearls in them, or that's just the remote regular? Uh, it's, they I got mean, pearls. Oh, I'm going to need the wide version because my thighs don't work Girl, like are you that. stupid? <laughs> the tighter, the better, though. That's part of the experience. They got to be too small. Mm. Listen, because I don't do one size fit all, okay? <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm letting you know now. They can't fit. They got to cut off circulation and all this stuff. That's yeah. how tight they got to be. All I got to say is, um, Maram, yeah, I I might just be able to do the pearl. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the panty, just the pearl. Take the pearl out. It'll be all right. Oh, my God. Just swipe the pearl like this. <laughs> It'll be all right. <laughs> I think that was one of our favorite scenes. We um we had that book discussion in the bricks, which yeah. was so awesome. I mean, everybody showed up. How could you not? Sabrina yeah. has been so fire with this pen, y'all. God bless, bless you. you. Thank that, you. See, that's the truth. That's what it is. It's the truth. <laughs> no, that's that's right, sis. Thing. Go ahead, sneeze again. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness so when we talk about her pen well here's a couple of things that was like one of her releases um after she did quarantine time and it had been a minute she needed a little break but what she did and i appreciated it most importantly was because she reminded us when you look at this book in 2022 23 24 10 years from now there's a period of covid in there yeah and and I, for one, am really appreciative of that because it's now a part of our history. Yeah. And so we're going to always have that moment to reflect back. So what actually, or has it always even been there? But what inspired you to get to a point where you wanted to bring the crew out? Um, I just, they kept talking. Like after the story was over, I just needed... You know, when I write these stories, I want them to be full. I want them to be realistic. So if I'm writing about a rapper who is a community activist, obviously he's going to want to uplift young people who um, aspire to be like he was. So I had to introduce a group of people, some kind of way, young people. And I just expected to introduce them. They have their partner and they're going about their business. But them niggas kept talking. They was like, hey, same. My mama a bitch. I want to, tell you, you know, Bree wanted to. Like, oh, that must a bitch. Been I need you to. Like, yeah, that must have been Brie. Yeah, Ooh. Brie was hell. Brie was hell. I love writing Brie. But something. I love her. Oh, God, that girl. That girl was something else. It took a saber, a quiet man that was hiding some dragon inside of him to tame that girl. She that part. Else. Do you know who I always <clears throat> envision him as? Who? Damson Idris. Who? The guy that, that's the guy that plays on... Um, Girl with the crack epidemic. You're going to have to send me a picture. Yeah. So <clears> if you know, I don't watch TV. Mind. I don't even know all of yeah, that. You'll have to, you'll Raven, have to I'm feeling you on this comment, sis. They better not ever stop talking to her because I'm listening. <laughs> Whatever Somebody we got to do to get her where life. she needs to be to hear them, we're yeah. going to do that. Send yeah. her an edible, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> not an edible. Y'all trying to get me fired. No <laughs> fault. Snowfall, that's the name of the show. Oh, he plays young, on. The, the, yeah. The, yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yes. That yeah. is very accurate. Very accurate. I love <laughs> him. He is so handsome to me. And he I love good. when um when he does like interviews and stuff, and you hear his English accent. I didn't even come know. Out. I didn't even know. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, wow. well, he has a British accent. Wow. Yeah. 
And listen, could you? So I won't be left out of that conversation. I need an image. I'm a girl. I'm gonna say I got you. <laughs> you <talk> <laughs> And you talk about the you. lead character, right? It's no fun. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That is very, yes. very accurate to say. <laughs> wow. That I that I'm happy about that. Nah. Uh -huh. I feel like I painted a good picture. Cause that's you accurate. did. With you all did. your characters, you can't help but to know I and should. identify with them. Yeah. I like your you your and then like one of the beauties of everything is um I know Tara. Tara said, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get it right. <laughs> Look, Tara, you know I'm going to be watching, right? <laughs> okay, I like oh. the comment popping up on the side because I can't navigate. I'm going to end this whole damn broadcast. <laughs> 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 so one of the things that um, I love about your stories, and sometimes because I've been accused of doing it, was entwining your story, right, in Alexandria House. Y'all um, have a very similar writing style that literally cracks me up. You know, I got <laughs> Uncle over here, and then I got D. Girl, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah. Bring some Everybody pie in the does. house. Love. And hey, Kelly. Hey, honey. And it's it's like, yeah, we 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 gonna have us some fun. Yeah. And I love how. You take whatever struggles that they've had in life, you reveal the real, but you also make them heal, or at least you allow them to tell you how they heal. Yeah. That's the part right there. Yeah. So tell us, how did Brie even come to be? She, Brie is, um, she, I'm when I was writing Brie, I imagined Meg the Stallion for some reason because she, you know, she a big, yes, thick, yeah, that's who I that's who I had in mind with Brie. But, um, <laughs> I just there's there's four members in the crew, and I needed I, I needed their personalities to be so different that you wouldn't even imagine them sitting in the same room, let alone you know, being a part of one group. And so Brie was like the bulldog. She like, I will fuck you up. I don't give a fuck, fuck <laughs> you. She rapping about niggas eating her pussy. She don't give a fuck about a nigga, you know, just hardcore. And, you know, her character, she was just so loud. Like she would give me lyrics every day. Y'all, I have like a Brie album on my computer. If I could, if I could become a rapper right now, <laughs> A 40 be year old. Sad, huh? That'd be the part right there. Like, when I, I start reading them lyrics, for real, like, yeah, I, damn, I thought about beat. recording the song that Brie has in there. I thought about recording it because it came to me just, it had music and everything. This girl gave me a show. Like it was like she was standing in a room, but her personality is so strong. Um, I just needed a really strong female character for the crew. Since Kimmy's so quiet, she spoke to me the less, the least out of the whole group. I didn't, that's why it took me so long to write the second installment because Kimmy's not really loud. It took me a while, <clears throat> you know, to um, to develop her character because she's she's like Miss Peace and Be Still and all that. So, and that was, that's hard to write for a female character for me because I'm, when I'm writing, I don't usually write quiet female characters. Mm. I'm a quiet person, but my characters are the opposite of me most of the time. Child. Kimmy that? wasn't as quiet as she pretended to be. Yeah, she was. You, you was quiet. I no, seriously, I'm shy. That's why I write books. Girl, I'm I'm, I'm socially awkward. Y'all don't mm. y'all can't tell because I be mm. I be giving myself prep talks before <laughs> events, but I'm really a shy person. Seriously, but that's because you're amongst family. Ex exactly, and that's what it feels like when I see y'all because we interact all the time. So yeah, I, that's yeah. You know what? I never even thought of it like that, but that must be what it is. I feel comfortable because baby, the way you cut up in Midnight Mafia, girl, right? Them niggas. <laughs> that that's my family for real. Them girls, and that connection was so organic. Y'all would have no idea how it came together. Like none of that was planned. It was just. The most beautiful thing. I miss my girls. I was telling Ayana that a couple of weeks ago. I was and I was telling her, I said, you know, I said they they all I think we were talking about that when we were talking about you coming on. And I was like, I hope Sabrina don't have to work. She was like, No, I said, I hope she don't have to work that night. She was like, That night. I said, Yeah, I said, Sabrina works overnight. Yeah. I said, believe it or not, that's how all of them got started with Midnight yeah. Mafia. They were all working overnight and yeah. they ended up staying on all night. Absolutely. Wait, let me check. Like, oh, I didn't know that. They ain't even in here. I bet you Maisha sleeps somewhere. Maisha probably sleep. 
She you know she, she got a routine. So she can be late to work. <laughs> oh, if she going, because she said something about she was going to be off for four days. And I don't think that's over until tomorrow. Oh, okay. And you know what I mean when I say she's off for four days. <laughs> Raven, yeah. don't find no shit up in here. <laughs> <laughs> what Ray, what Raven talking shit about? Raven told Chanel don't why you got to see the name in your mouth, girl. You not to see. <laughs> Lord. Don't play with the Shayla, cause y'all know she'll come in and tear this motherfucker up. <laughs> Woo! Come Let in and tear this shit up. Knock everything over. It's going down up in here. That's 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 all I gotta say to y'all. Okay. I'm about to tag y'all in these pictures right now. It's starting. It started in the restaurant, right? Oh, honey. Mm. And that scene alone did everything for me. Girl. But when Brum Man couldn't wait to get home, they was like, Can I get us a go? <laughs> I, I got. I don't even want to finish this shit Look, that y'all got on this table. <laughs> First of all, ain't no way you could have played me in a restaurant like that. Girl, oh my God. I was oh, feeling the vibes from that. <laughs> Oh man, that that scene, Jesus Christ! I rewrote it like, oh, hey, my, like, hey, ain't nobody gonna notice that. Hey, whoever just coming in, hey, y'all, that like, hey, that's my Isha. Hey, just coming up in here. Where's Kima? Oh, hi, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> let me look. I see chat. Hold on. Let me look. Let me see. Oh, we don't even have their names. Somebody talking about my curl pattern. Y'all child. That's my Isha. That's my Isha. She <laughs> said, she, she said, she said your curl pattern. Names. That's why I'm not even going in the chat because it just got Facebook user. They playing me on here. They playing me. Hey, y'all. Hey, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we are sitting here, y'all. We are, we're talking and, and welcome to my new folks that struck in here. I'm still looking for Kima. Can hey, somebody Lisa. tell you again? Kima, <laughs> I am. Um, Kima is a busy woman. You see her, huh? I was mad with Bree's family. Like, I just... The, uh, the, your mama and your sister. Audacity. Go. Trifling than a motherfucker. I just Trifling. Girl. How you say it in my... You should just tack it. <laughs> <laughs> like, bruh. Hey, Sean. And, and then you bring this old trifling nigga up in here. Yeah. And my shit. Yeah, knowing, knowing the situation. That's just, you know. And Sabrina, Monica, so you looking all young and cute and things. Girl, I wish. Girl, flip it, flip it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I messed it up. Y'all stupid. <laughs> Waiting wild over here. Oh Lord, I didn't. Um, I. Your your sister is providing a home and taking care of you and your mother. Mm -hmm. Girl, who don't even say dust the heifer, old Jack? <laughs> talking about her mom and uh, sister. Oh, I thought she was talking about us. I'm about to get so bloody. <laughs> Josh would never. <laughs> them fingernails gonna start snapping up in here y'all better watch out Tell them oh, you talk that ain't who Josh is she love us but yeah, yeah that was just to me, that was just so trifling definitely yeah. <laughs> they was, they, I imagine the uh, wicked stepsisters from uh, Cinderella when I wrote those two I was like these bitches just ain't gonna get it right this girl over here taking care of them you know grown ass so, women grown she and then you want to go fly on a piece you. of dick that she didn't had already? You like, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, of all the dicks in the world, you want to bring one that your sister didn't sat on. And like, crush out of jail on, at that. He really like can't that. do that for you. But yeah. again, crush out of jail. A, a, clear in, a clear indication, you just want to be me, bitch. You just. Exactly. Exactly. And it be your own people sometimes, y'all. Y'all know that family dynamic. Sometimes it be your own people that just. Legra, this for you. That's from Josh. <laughs> oh, I know. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Just say don't play. Just say you owe me an apology. <laughs> it's 112 degrees outside. I'm still trying to cool down. My ears are still hot. You know, just forgive me this one time, please. <laughs> her sister and her mom was trash. Yeah, make no mistake them. about it. Super trash. They both was no trash. And in that piece of trash that they had living, I mean, how you gonna have a nigga up in my house? Mm -hmm. Like, mm-mm. They want to tell me y'all a couple. 
You and your couple get your, get the fuck come on out. <laughs> but, uh, but then what the mama say? I told you, make him stay in the back. Yeah, they can hear it and shit. Like, <sighs> just you know, the fucking drama. You know, you make it and people just still pieces of shit. It's and, I mean, and she made it so <laughs> easy for them. I mean. Yeah. First off, she gave a lot of herself that she really didn't have to. Yeah. Right. Cause I mean, providing a house for your mom is one thing, wanting to mm -hmm. take care of her, but that you that's not something you have to do. Exactly. That comes from a place of love. Cause first off, as a grown ass woman, handle your business. Mm -hmm. But then for you to bring your child in here, she, yeah. Y'all don't have no respect, no Trying consideration. Y'all right. demanding her time. Your mama's sick, so you do you want to tell me I got to come? Girl, no, get the fuck out of here. Who paying all these bills? Okay. I got to work so your ass can have lights on. But you giving me a hard time for not being there. You there, bitch. You ain't got nothing else to do. I'll be there when I can get there. Exactly. Hmm. For somebody that don't give a fuck about me. I'll be At there. all. <laughs> that know? part right there. That don't See? even care about me. Y'all don't, like, <clears throat> don't even support me. Like... Yeah. I was surprised. Too young and still have to learn because mm -hmm. my cutoff game is so strong, baby. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. At forty years old, I wouldn't even be bothered with that shit. But you know, I had to consider the fact that Bree is young. She still got a lot of forgiving in her, and mm -hmm. you know, she got a lot. Of, she got to be fed up a few more times because that's what it takes. Time. Okay. Time will make shit clear all the time. Yeah. Hey, Alea. I see you came in the house, and Karen. Hi. Welcome, ladies. Hey. Hi. Wait, coming in. Hey, hey, hey. So as even even as we got further into the story, at first I struggled with what um what's my boy's name? It's slipping me. Saber. Saber. What his problem was. And what I'm referring specifically to was like he I get that you might have played the role as the boy, you know the man of the house. Mm -hmm. But when his mom told him she was getting married, it was like, he, he was doing too yeah. much for me. I yeah. was like, son. Yeah. You out, you, you know, you out of pocket <laughs> for what? <clears throat> yeah. he. Yeah. You know what? Those only children, because I'm learning that with my own kid, only kid. And listen, you, well, no, because you don't necessarily have that dynamic with Amber because you been married. My kid, she'll be 22 in November. She was 20 and thought I was about to go on a vacation and damn near had tears coming out her Girl. eyes. And I was laughing so hard because she was so serious. I was like, I said, are you, I said, you really about to cry? Oh. And I, so that little oh. dynamic is, it's is just kind of weird. It, and I mean, my mom, my dad died in 1998, and I've never seen my mom with another man. Like she has not dated since then, and mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with that. And I and I honestly think that if I saw another man come in, I'd be like, "Mom, you got me fucked up." Right. <laughs> oh, daddy, mom, you got me fucked up. Who is that? <laughs> I know you lied. I, I know you lied. There's a selfishness lie. about. And a protectiveness as a boy, mm -hmm. as a as a guy, even though you know her, her mama been you know seeing this man for years, for years, yeah, for years since he was little. You and know he what I'm was saying? good to him. He's still, you know, he's still just. That's I think the mama. idea of marriage just made it too yeah, permanent. For him. It's different. Yeah, it's different. I and and I felt saber on that. It was kind of childish. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown, but. At his age, that's exactly how I would have felt if my mama was trying to marry another man. Like my daddy did, they they ain't never gonna get back together, obviously. <laughs> but that kind of would have it would have messed with me a little bit. Like, what do I call this nigga? Like, I'm not calling him daddy. I'm an adult. <laughs> what, do you, what do I even call him? Call him little nigga. Little nigga, exactly. What yeah. nigga at? <laughs> we can see, my. We can see it. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me tell you, speaking of his mama, his mama was the one that was the hero in the book for me. You hear me? Yeah. Because With she did friend. what I expected her to do. Yeah. She shut the whole wedding down. She yeah, shut her whole wedding listen, down. Her wedding down. Yeah. Telling if, people cut it short. If put your be. foot on a bitch neck was a person. Yeah. Because you don't, because you know what? 
there's this double standard and this is the whole reason that I even explored that topic is because there's this double standard that if an older man comes at a young lady like that, conditioning a younger lady like that, then it's a problem. He's a pervert. This is disgusting. And that's true. But when mm -hmm. women do it, we just cougars. Bitch, you is a pedophile. <laughs> right. You've been grooming that man since he was a young boy. You are a fucking pervert. And then you actually had sex with him after, you know, that's your nephew. That's somebody you called your nephew and you fucked him. Like, that's disgusting. Right. Unless you are cool when you're 50 and you dating a 35 or 40 year old. Yeah. That's when you are cool. And not your best friend's son. Sis. Right. That's somebody not, you don't know. That's somebody exactly. that, that's you run really into right like there. Yeah, on a girl's trip, wrong. and you just hit it and quit it. That's yeah. what a cougar is. Yeah, that's yeah, that's and a cougar. She had been watching him. It's like yes. th that was not something like literally. She was prepping him, getting him. Yes, listen. yes. Since you you been ready before he turned. In. And his mama read that she like wait a minute, you know, mm -hmm. and she felt guilty because she didn't see it. But predators are good at hiding their intentions. That's what predators mm -hmm. do, you know. That's what right. lions and shit do. They hide in the grass <laughs> and then they eat the fucking gazelle. And then they attack. Yep. Yeah. You don't you're not supposed to see it coming. Well, I can tell you now. Bree saying thank you because the lesson in that Ooh, baby. Honey. Shit. <laughs> God God forgive me, but she's up the hallway. <laughs> When she, she said her shit jumped out, ran down the hall and said, What you wait no? Pussy just left, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Come on. Oh my God. Brie was my, like, my, my. she even picked it up. And, and it made her realize, <laughs> yeah. damn, this nigga fight because he didn't old pussy. Like, yeah, he didn't, yeah. <laughs> you know what the fuck he's <laughs> doing. Y'all know what you call him, Dusty. He had that dusty pussy, but um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how they say it, oh, Dusty. That's a damn Oh my shame. God. That is a damn shame. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, he. You know, that's the takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> it's some therapy and you got good dick for the rest of your life. I mean. Just, but the key is get that therapy. You got to get the therapy, though. Get that the is therapy. key. Because you were definitely a victim. And that you know. is key. And he didn't he didn't see that. He did not <laughs> see where he was victimized. He he even was like, nah, I was a willing participant. Right. Last one at 18. But you didn't, your brain wasn't even thoroughly no. developed. You can't give you this about you old ass woman who could have been your mama, probably older yes. than your mama, yes. permission. No. No. That's yeah, she manipulated no. you. Very that's much that so. ego. That's that male ego. I wanted it. I wanted that. Okay, you did. Girl, right. And you know what? You. Sabrina, think about all those episodes with Martin when he was talking about wanting his teacher. Remember? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that, that is, yes. Think like that. Yes. Think like that. Yes. Like that. yes. And well, I well, you know they got all these uh <clears throat> as time goes on, you are starting to hear uh -huh. more and more about these teachers that are nice. getting with these students. Mm -hmm. And I always hear men say, well, man, where that teacher was when I was in school. Like, yeah. I mean, you you wanted that? Yeah. They you wanted to be victimized like that? They right, right. Taking advantage of. They and got I, too many costumes and toys right now where girl, you can go play school absolutely. teacher and student. Absolutely. And grown adults okay. can do that. We ain't got time to make the real thing happen. Exactly. Right. You ain't got to fuck your teacher, son. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. Please don't. Please it's, don't. It's then, appropriate. <clears throat> when we strolled into Crew 2, let me tell you something. John, you wrote that. Cause I couldn't stand Jack. I'm gonna say that right now. And, and, and when you wrote that, I was like, "Nobody like." I sincerely, I, and I didn't say I dislike him. It was so obvious that um, something was up with him. I mean, the drinking, and it was it was evident he was suppressing something. Especially when Taya, somebody like her, could. She was trying to see the good in him. She gave yeah. him the benefit of the doubt. She gave him an hold, opportunity. Hold on one second. Is that how you say her name, Sabrina? Or is it Taya? It's Taya. It's, it's Taya. Taya. Oh, she shit. got she got it right. Got she got it right. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do my friend. Don't do my she friend. Got it right. <laughs> got it right. So let me let me take a sip. First time my ever. Got it right. Don't do my friend like that. She got it right. Oh, my sister got it right. 
I've been practicing. <laughs> you was going over the fanatic side. <laughs> Oh shit. But the, we know who Taya is. We know our personality. Remember? Yes. If y'all read plus, if y'all got into the fold, and you know me, I love a good story because I live in them. But when we got a, a piece of Taya and that scene when they all were like on a vacation, um, on a trip on a little getaway. And even Chad had to step away, you know, and he was like, that was like way too much. She needed to go. Chad went home. Chad, ain't Chad was like, he just the fuck. He burnt off. Right. <laughs> he wasn't used to all that shit. He like, I'm not doing this shit. Man. That's me. No, I'm right. not about to argue with you. I'm not about to fight. Not I'm not just going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm with you, Jock. I, I knew something was up with him. Um... It was so evident. I mean, he was just aggressive with everybody. He was just yeah. mad. Yeah. So it was definitely evident that there was something going on. So yeah. for you to reveal so much of his story, and you came right out, out, you know, right into it, you like went way around. Yeah, let's just let's just jump into this. Yeah. And say what it is. I yeah. was like, yeah, this this know. makes sense. This this explains it. Oh, yeah. And I had to tell his story because I hate with these stories. There's always a villain, right? There's always somebody bad, but I'm always rooting for the villain. Like I've I've been able to redeem every villain <laughs> except for <laughs> oh, Miss Carolyn in here. I have not been able to redeem Josh from the. um. So this is Christmas. but We ain't gonna talk about that. He was a whore. I, I can't do nothing about that. I don't I can't fix that. But with she Josh, put the, she put the R on that shit too. He was yes. a whore, the a whore, whore. Not whore, but whore. like he was like a, a church whole lady. Five letter word. He was a whore. <laughs> five letters, not three. But um, with Jock, I was like, I can't just leave this baby out here like this. He got a story, you know. People hate him, but they don't. They don't know why he's doing what he does, and there's always a reason. People ain't just born bad, and you know, I well, I don't believe people are just born bad. So he finally started talking. I was like, nigga, you did what? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I, you know. Diamond, yeah. I love this comment that she said. Diamond said, definitely made Jock human and lovable. Oh, I, I got to agree with Diamond. you there. Yeah. I, I got to agree with you there. I had to. I couldn't just leave my boy out to dry like that. He, Y'all needed to hear what, what he was going through. And definitely. Was, I needed to know that because I knew there had to be something that explains why he was in so much pain, why there was so much anger, why he was just like, Literally, he was, he was the drinking is probably what did it. Other than that, I would have just deemed yeah. him as being cocky. Yeah, but because mm. he had such a drinking problem, you're drinking for a reason, you're trying to get right. lost for a reason. Yes, yes, exactly. yes, exactly. Yes, and and then Kimmy, <clears throat> Ooh. oh man, <sighs> yeah, her story. Oh my god, it was a lot. It was a lot. Her story reminded me, um, Chelsea, Maria, she wrote a story where the siblings looked out for each other. Mm -hmm. It was the last release she had. And that's what it brought me to. Like I said, all my stories, you know, I, these are real people to me. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, I met him, you know, across the street in Chelsea town. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not Chelsea town. You crazy. I'm telling y'all, this he, woman is really, she's psychotic. It really lives in my head, and and this this is why I don't play behind Ezra because this is real, okay? Oh so, Lord, I thought we was gonna get through this without a mention of Ezra. <laughs> Never gonna get through it. I thought we was gonna Ezra, get through baby. it because she was talking about plus. I was like, we ain't gotta hear nothing about Ezra we tonight because we on plus. <laughs> you know that that shelf that I have over there is this plus. And it's Ezra. That, that's that's it. Nobody they, else is doing that. They, they brother husbands. Don't play that. They understand. <laughs> but oh, Monica, what you said? <laughs> Josh, Josh said, "Don't start that Ezra stuff." <laughs> yeah, I know she gonna bring him up in here. 
ain't thinking about y'all. Book two had me needing a mental health break. Oh, yeah, because it, it reveals a lot of hurt. Um, her twin brother. First off, I don't think I knew that she had a twin. I don't think he I ever paid attention. Yeah, he came when plus when they had that um the trip to the trip. Yeah, he came, but he was really quiet. So Obviously, I was like, how do he I? Was how do I he was mute. Understand? Yeah, he was mute. Yeah. literally. I don't. Didn't I didn't remember him from that book either. Yeah, y'all gonna have to read <clears> it. <throat> it was a brief mention, you know, because Kimmy didn't okay. have a lot of speaking parts, but he was there. Yeah. She brought like everybody brought a fa a family member, and she her right. brother was her family member. Jock didn't bring anybody. I remember Bree but, tried. Oh uh, no, he brought. He yeah. brought. Yeah, they got her ass beat. He he brought the hoe. Yeah, he got brought her, the hoe. The ass the toe the off the yeah. yeah, yeah, like you say, a supposedly best friend. Yeah, <clears throat> trash. Even a sister now, Brie wants sister wanted to fight the girl. <laughs> Everybody wanted to beat the girl up. God damn, she couldn't win. I would love to be roommates with Brie. Girl, Brie, something else. I think about Brie so often. You know, it's, it's like she is. I st she still talks to me. I'm like, bitch, I'm not writing you another book. I'm not writing she you another seems, book. She reminds me a lot of Megan, too. And I, yeah. it's like it's somebody that you want to win. Yes. I want Megan to win in yes. life so bad. Yes. And Meg, Meg, before she got famous, like in Houston, people knew Meg Thee Stallion years ago. She was like underground. So I'm familiar with her from those days before the world knew her. And that's why when I said female rapper, she's the first person to stick out because this girl then, then came a long ass way. Like she been, been doing this shit. So to see her finally, you know, walk into her purpose, I was like, I'm a dedicated character to Meg Thee Stallion because she done been through a lot. She been out here for a long ass time. Yeah, and she's still going through shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you she know? still is going through shit because she's still so young. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? She, she, gonna, she gonna hit a lot of bumps before. Yeah. Her. Before yes. she realize who's for her and who ain't. And <laughs> that's what I that think she needs a great. better um a better like support team. Yeah, her circle is a little janky. Right. She needs fine. somebody telling her, mm, Meg, don't do yeah. this. Yeah. You know, that's what she needs. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. She need an OG. I love that um <laughs> Josh had brought up that uh she loves Josh's grandmother. And oh. and I did too. Um yeah. man. But they they just they had so much. I mean, imagine the guilt that he he had knowing yeah. that his brother and you know I don't I don't think we got the full story, but no, I'd imagine exactly. that it wasn't even something that boy should have been in jail for because even if Jock would have said he did it, yo yo it daddy was self defense then it, yeah I like it. like it wasn't fully investigated exactly right. Exactly. And, it was, but, and it wasn't, and it wasn't, and but can you imagine it being being that this child had already stepped up and said he did it? Yeah, it for the police is like, well, what more is that to talk about? Yeah, it's a black, it's a black boy saying he killed a black man. We don't give a fuck. Don't even dust the gun for fingerprints. Who gives? But the wasted you? years, the stolen years. I won't even call them yeah. wasted. Stolen yeah. years of his young life. You Twenty. Know? He'll be twenty six years old coming out of prison, and you know, I just before. Before anybody asked, because that story was, you know, it ended abruptly. That's that's what they gave me as far as Jock goes. But um, his brother Nelly is likely going to be my next release because his story, y'all, oh, man. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get more details on, you know, what happened and how he feels about what he sacrificed for his brother and um, the things that he left in the outside world without even knowing that he left, did not even knowing that it existed. His story is coming to me so easily that I can't wait to sit down. This week, I'm probably not going to be on the internet. At, I mean, on um, social media at all because Nelly, Ooh. Nelly got a story. And that's why I ended um, book two so abruptly because there's material that Nelly wanted to bring, but it's his own story. Like I might even just title the book Nelly. <laughs> yeah, now y'all know y'all wouldn't have got this nowhere else. This right? is exclusive. Yeah, don't nobody know this. This is exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly's story is punching me in the gut. 
Yeah. This girl is crazy. Yeah. I like what Diamond said. The police came too quick to get him. They really yeah. did. They didn't want his shit. You know how they do. They just want to yeah. shit out quick anyway. If Yeah, when it's niggas involved, they ain't, yeah, ain't too much talking necessary. At all. Ain't too much. At all. <clears throat> um, Let me ask this question before we get back into our story. Who do you feel? There's always... There's always said that the author identifies with somebody that, you know, that they've written about. Who do you believe? What character of all your books do you feel like you identify with the most? Oh, probably Tashina. I knew you was going to say that. I knew she was going <laughs> to say that too. Yeah, probably Tashina because... Probably because she don't put up with no shit. She don't. And she's, she's she very, don't. very Did you loving want and motherly. Hmm. Say, so did you want triplets? Oh, no. I would never say that. I would never. Let me take a sip. So, Jesus, no, I don't want that. <laughs> never. One of them would have got oh. sold so fast. Probably. She said sold. Yeah, they would have been cute. I probably would have sold two of them and kept one. But <laughs> this, this is not puppy. <laughs> shit. If you have. Two or more of anything, it's a litter. Them niggas oh, gotta go. Shit. Oh, I ain't mad at you because I don't like you. <laughs> I don't fuck around like that. She just, I think Tashina has the ability to, you know, be hard and soft at the same time. And that's the story of my life. <laughs> like, I'll cuss you out, but I'll fix you a plate too. Like, are you hungry, <laughs> you stupid ass motherfucker? Why are you even over here? <laughs> and Tashina just, she bodied that. Like, she knew how to love a man and she she took so much on her shoulders you know by herself all those years not telling the truth about how taya was conceived and all that can you imagine walking around with that shit your mm. ass, for so long not saying anything to anybody because her auntie probably would have killed that man she knew he would have could you imagine that man but yeah she looking at a kid in yeah. her face every day mm -hmm. knowing how that child was conceived exactly. and still having the ability to love that child. Like you, mm -hmm. I feel like I will be able to that love point. that child, but it's, I probably would not be able to raise yeah. that child. And and part of that story is based on true events. I'm not going to say anybody's name, but um, growing up, this apartment complex that I grew up in, we had a neighbor who um, was raped and became pregnant by the rapist and you know she raised her daughter as if you know what i'm saying I mean, because it was her baby and mm -hmm. and it just every time i saw them together like my mama told me the story because her daughter was a lot you know was older than me and i didn't know and my mama you know told me everything my mama always told me stuff and i was like that just i can't imagine you know what i'm saying like the pain and the love at the same time like it's, it's part of you and it's part of this monster. It just, I don't know. I just felt like that needed to be put in a story because it was just, it's so tragic, but what do you do? You know what I'm saying? What do you mm -hmm. do? What would you do in that situation? And I honestly don't know if I would have been able to handle it the way that Tashina did. She a soldier for that. She, she truly was. was. Yeah. What I love more than <clears throat> anything is once again, you know, her trauma didn't have to become the end of her story, the exactly. end of her life, you know, and we, we've learned so much about that because you've shared a lot with your readers and your fans about, you know, what inspired your writing, what inspires all of this that you're, um, that you're going through. Mm -hmm. Who else would you say is identified in your characters in your household? Because you, you crack us up when you talk about your babies with your son. <laughs> and, and, and then we know. You know, we know Uncle Sue. <laughs> so, <laughs> who else would you say is is pulled into these books where you could say, you know what, that's him, the lovable characters that you have in there? Um, I'm gonna go straight to D because I know y'all love D, and I've, you know, I've had relationships and you know, even friendships grown up around people with special needs. Um, we were taught to never ever treat them any differently. You know, you don't make fun of people with special needs that's and right. get closer to them because that's what God looks like. That is Amen. what God looks right. like. Right. I love that. I love that. Right. And so um, Dwight was named after an actual person named Dwight when I was growing up. Big, tall, like as tall as a tree. Dwight was so big and such a teddy bear and just 
so when I when I thought of that character, that's who I went to. Dwight, his mannerisms, how much he loved sweets, like he was so <laughs> funny and fun, wouldn't hurt a fly, very protective of the kids in the neighborhood. Like we're like, D, you eight years old in the brain. How you gonna protect us? You know, that's how we talk. <laughs> He'll just be like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was just an all-around good dude. We treated him like we treated each other. We talked shit to him, he talked shit to us, and and that's just the community we grew up in and then my boy his name is Bay, baby james this boy could recite any rap song you ever played him after hearing it one time you know what i'm saying and and those people like that just enriched my life you know what I'm, i just i wouldn't be the same person if it wasn't for those relationships and mm. so i had to create the character that reflected that. I try to bring the people in my life into my stories as much as possible without saying their names. And because um, my upbringing was just, it wasn't, you know, we wasn't rich, but um, the love, the love that I got from the people you around rich me, in it love. made me rich. That is. Exactly. It made me a humble person. And I think it prepared me for whatever is coming for me. I don't know how far this book stuff is going to go. But um, wherever I go, it's gonna be with a humble heart because of where I came from and the people. Ooh, we were just talking about that, that creating me, yeah. Yes, that humble heart. Yeah. And, and I'm gonna just share this before we um jump back in. Um, the Attorney General has stepped in the house, but um, who that? Who oh, that? Lord. <laughs> yeah. oh Lord! Oh Lord! I'm gonna shit. leave her alone. I'm gonna leave her alone. Let me but um, <laughs> didn't I tell you her secret was safe with her? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she she put it all out there on Facebook, oh, but shit. um, Allegra, you know Irvin Mayfield, right? Mm -hmm. So his brother Shay uh, reminds me of with who you just described. Shay could hear music and play it back to you. I mean, no for no, without ever even really reading the music. Yeah. But he had that type of memory. So um, and he's special needs, and so I I can definitely identify um with that as well. Um, jumping back into Jock and Kimmy. Kimmy, oh my, let me tell you, y'all know my favorite scene. When Sis did the dance on stage, the dress, oh my. Miss no, what she say? Are we fucking or are we unlocking the door? Okay. What I you was playing like, for? Pop your <laughs> shit, player. <laughs> Who the fuck said I want to fall in love with you? <laughs> but you know what was funny though? Because he, he put it out there to say, hey, this shit don't happen. My yeah. dick don't get hard because I know how to be professional. So yeah. I ain't just rising for nobody. Like, what the fuck you doing in my shit? <laughs> <laughs> what, what the fuck is you doing? Like, <laughs> is this voodoo bitch? Bro, I, after I that man. concert, he was like, stay in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker said, "Walk in front baby, of me, go straight to your room, and lock that's it with a pot of the out." <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Man, I was oh. like, "Oh, that what kind of dress?" Right. Listen, when he described that dress, mm -hmm. child, everybody say, "Baby, we saw that." <laughs> and when you were rocking and moving, and I mean, she just handled that shit like a straight. She did a brie on him. The uh -huh. way she handled that, she was like, "Look, uh -huh. how we doing this? <laughs> you gonna bend me over or what?" <laughs> okay, quick plan. Trying to, Lord, trying to get me a pep talk, boy. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Let's go, Sabrina. You nasty, and we I'm like not. it. I'm not. You are. Oh, we like it's it. It's a stack of Bibles on the other side of this camera. Like I look, this like this. What I tell my brother. That's why you got two babies now. <laughs> Look, let me fix my face before uh, Josh have another picture to show. <laughs> girl. I, what I'm saying is, ooh, girl, your, your pen skills when it come to you giving us, girl, Lil Kimmy, yes, Josh, Lil Kimmy was, oh, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, you Lil Kimmy, you quiet, all right? Mm -hmm. It'll be the quiet ones. It'll be the quiet ones. Listen, that's the ones that don't put all their business out. That's exactly. how you do exactly for real. For real, Allegra, you finished. Go ahead, it's gone. It's gone. You know, I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I might take me a bag <laughs> too, girl. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> Baby, no, she was not 
she was not um quiet behind closed door because he nah, didn't care. Nah, I can't he didn't care. <laughs> She said, my son, but I got Bob. No, they on the other side. I'm about to ask. Not by the alcohol, my. Nah, I'm about to ask. Where the Bible at? Nah, it's like, nah. They, it's a whole bunch of them over there mm. on my desk. I can't even fit my computer on the desk. There's so many Bibles over there. I just hand them out. <laughs> Monica, you see, uh huh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll be in there. <laughs> I mean, you know. Hey, okay. Lisa. Oh, I can hey. see names. I can see some people's names. Probably if they up. give permission to stream y'all, yeah, we can see their names. That's why Maisha left out and came back in. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm, I'm like, sis gave us a whole show, and you know, I had a feeling. Mimi just showed up. I had a feeling that her brother was talking. But almost a uh, ooh for that long period, I ain't gonna lie. I, I can relate to her yeah. feelings being hurt. Yeah, I really could relate to her because it's like, bro, I've been here with you. Yeah, hey Adrian. <laughs> but yeah, it's and I didn't know at first. I was like, how is she gonna react? Hey, what's her name? <laughs> Adrian, you shot. That's the one you fucked up. You fucked up. Yeah, name. yeah. <laughs> that she always <laughs> she always call Adrian a dreamer, and I think. I got it. Oh no. That is not her. She's used to Adrian A D R I A N. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ayana will throw a vowel at the end of anybody's name. I don't even <laughs> I'm just trying to still trying to figure out. Thank you, sis. Got, I'm glad you forgive me. Damn, man. <laughs> how she got my name right. <laughs> I don't even know, but hey. Like and I don't even have to call you Allegra. I just say Allegra. Probably because oh, she's she been knowing me her whole life. I mean, we, oh. just, we just drop half the name anyway. We don't be needing all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Martha. I was so glad that... See, Martha went out and gave permissions. I was, oh, I was so glad that he was no longer mute. Because I know he got something to say. I know you got a story. I know he's been Absolutely. talking since he started talking, right? I know yeah. he in you. Yeah. 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 He... Yeah. It's probably not gonna be as long as as Nelly's, but um, See, all that shit he's been holding in for all them years. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but I mean, he's still a quiet person though. He he's not mute anymore, but they twins. Him and Kimmy be kind of quiet, so he ain't really he ain't really saying a lot, you know. But we'll see where it goes. Hey, I don't that's know the quiet you, people you gotta watch though. That's the ones they, they pick up all the lot. information. They think a lot. His, his book would be a lot of thinking, like writing a writing. For a, a mute character is difficult if it's not from his point of view because you know I had I would have had to I just couldn't I just had to use mannerisms with him when he was having conversations with Kimmy. So if I wrote his book, it might be a little easier because he's a thinker. But he's mm -hmm. not really saying a lot to me right now. Nelly too loud for anybody to say anything. This Listen, I I'd imagine that brother coming prayed out the oh, joint with a lot uh -oh. to say. I'll be sleeping. Sabrina, he like better be he better be fine as fuck too. Oh, yeah. he, he got a grill. He already got the bedroom. He, he got was a grill. in jail all that time. I don't think he have a grill, y'all. He been oh, in jail since he was a teenager. God, That's true. So but I know he got some tats, some jailhouse tats. He he's a beautiful motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh, he okay. Beautiful. He is okay. Okay. Y'all get, get ready. It. I'm Listen, I'm loving these exclusive right here. I'm about to tell you my face getting all flush and shit. I'm getting, I'm getting a little warm up in here. <laughs> and we probably gonna go back to Chocolate Town with Nelly. I don't think Ooh. he gonna be red like his brother. We oh, caramel. girl, you know that's I'm hot. Like him. Him. Oh Jesus. What you oh say, God. Monica? Fine, fine. Monica, I ain't fine. Yes. Monica, Monica, stay with plus. Stay out of the business. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Y'all a mess. Y'all a hot mess. <laughs> I'm telling you, listen. I, I'm. Then we, we, you know, I stayed in anyway, Kimmy and, and, and Jock, and I was just loving how he was so adamant about not wanting to damage her, too. Yeah. You know, I respected him a whole lot because... He genuinely had a lot of self-hate. Yeah. He saw him. He didn't see 
the the value in itself. And you know, we we gotta know and recognize that black men struggle with that. Absolutely. With recognizing and hearing and understanding, they internalize a lot of things and they don't recognize the beauty in themselves. They don't recognize they don't see what other people may see. Listen, she saw potential. She saw like, yeah, you you and Tay weren't gonna work out no way. Yeah. You know. Y'all both too used to you know the same thing and that and that just wasn't sustainable like you wasn't gonna be able to survive together because it's just y'all would have kept button heads she used to the attention you used to the attention it just wasn't gonna work and they not and her mama was gonna, was gonna beat his ass oh man tashina would kill a motherfucker man tashina would kill like don't come at her baby wrong you got to go fix yourself don't 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 play with my child because I'll kill you. None of my children or my husband. She'll kill them. I, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. Mm. Yeah. When I feel the same way. He held him. Oh my gosh, that blessed me. I'm I'm yeah. feeling you, Martha. There were so many sensitive moments where um between him and Kimmy that just like you um who was that? Somebody said earlier, it made him human, it made him lovable. Mm -hmm. He literally was that kid that was stuck and he was holding a lot of guilt that wasn't even for him, yeah. you know, and it wasn't for his brother. That's the part. That's why right. I know. I know I can't wait for Nelly's story because it's yeah. like, mm. yeah, yeah, like I, I knew right away for your brother to be protecting you. Right. Yeah. Y'all hurry up and got to grandma's house and and made sure like, man. That he was wouldn't hard. even let him talk. He wouldn't even let Jock talk because he, you know, he probably would have confessed. He was like, I did it. I killed him. Like, just let's just squash this shit because I can't let my little brother go down for some shit that, you know, he was protecting himself. I'll take the route. <laughs> but see, he never even shared the story with Kimmy. You know, he just was like, yeah, my brother's coming home. Yeah. Baby, listen. That Panani was so good, he almost slept through his brother's release. Girl, love. <laughs> Girl, walking down the street trying to get the freedom, and you over here eating pussy. Come on, man. Well, get up. He, was, he was finding <laughs> his freedom too. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Real Definitely. Time. Definitely. Yeah. Child, I was like, bro, said, I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to get out of here. You gonna put some fucking clothes on <laughs> before I be picking this man up tomorrow. Shit. Ooh, baby, <laughs> they was considered as a fucking Uber. Fuck. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Not a Uber. Get him a Uber. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god. I uh, was so taken by um, you know, the relationship even that Jock. And her brother had. I thought that was yeah, yeah. And it was evident that there was something there. And girl, <laughs> when she Kimmy was messing with her brother, talking about you can't him. <laughs> <laughs> the mama. <cows. coughs> girl, they oh were God. they were a mess. They yeah. were a mess. When I tell you, you are you are a one click author for me, and. That's that's that should be a given, right? But your writing skills, sis. I mean, even when you gave us with the quarantine time, even with with it being brief, because a lot of your books lately have been novellas, right? Um, yeah. You give it all. How, how do you find it where you're able to write those shorts? Because those are not really favorites of of avid readers. Yeah. But how do you find yourself being able to? write a short but compact and there's so much without like we say instant love you know there there is so much in that little book how do you do that what's 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 the secret to being able to be successful in doing that i think i think i'm a summary writer like it's not it's not really on purpose and i'm working on my stamina i wish that i could write longer books and hopefully nelly will give me something that um, that will be longer. I just don't like fillers. You know what I'm saying? Unnecessary. You don't like fluff. Yeah, right. I'm not. I'm not. With and I, fluff. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm. I'm not finna fluff Definitely. it up for just for page count. I'm not gonna do that. When I go into a story, I never have a page count in mind because that that would, you know, if I think too hard, 
it, it kind of blocks the creativity. So I never sit down and say, okay, this is going to be a 40K book. If it's not 40K, I'm jumping off the Empire State Building. I never do that. It, it, my brain just doesn't work like that. I sit down and I write down what I'm giving from these characters. And that's that. If it's long, beautiful. If it's not, hey, this is what they gave me. As long as by the end, um, there's some sort of closure, some sort of resolve, then I'm fine. If the pay, if the book is five pages long and it ends with resolve, I'm fine with that. Sabrina, um, don't give me a five page book, please. <laughs> you better ask Ayala. I'm not going to ask you shit. Don't ask me, don't ask me a damn thing. I'm staying out of that. I'm just trying to get a reaction out of y'all. That's all. I would never Listen. get a five page book. I, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Lit. That's a brochure. That but, is a paper for school. Yeah. <laughs> And, and and I hate that. Just finish telling Sabrina this. I don't buy paperbacks from everybody, <laughs> nor do I buy more than one. I and and it's because like we was just talking about, I don't want to run out of room. But yeah. see that beautiful book she was just holding in her hand. Okay. And let me ask y'all, did y'all check out the playlist? Listen, Usher is up on there. Okay. And as you know, that side A and side B. Y'all better get into it. Yeah. You it's got the link in the book, Sabrina. Um, are you giving us another CD? Um, oh, you ain't think about that. I don't, I don't know. I might, I might print up some links while I'm at home. I, it's too late to order anything because I got to get them to them before June 27th. But, or is, is Indie Love June 27th? I got too many dates in my head. I think, Josh, I thought 24 I, I had those dates in my head. 24, 25. It's two days. It's that, it's that Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. It's 25, 26. Okay, well, close. Am I right, Doc? I'll be, I'm going to be there, though. I'm going to be there. Yeah, I that's the 25th and the 26th. But, yeah, I'll have these mailed out before. So I might print up some stickers or something with the link on it. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you. Write it down. Thank write you. it down. Yeah, yeah, remember where you got it from. Right. Yeah. Definitely not going to remember that. Remember where you got it from. <laughs> I am. I'm going to shout y'all out. I might put Bourbon Street in the look. I'll just put, I'll just love <laughs> yeah, I got some stickers I need to use. So that's, that's what I'm going to do with that. Listen, this woman here is funny. <laughs> um, y'all, we don't normally keep our authors past the hour, but y'all know if it's Y'all got any questions for Sabrina? Cause listen, she, she took PTO. It's my the first question. off day. I ain't got shit to do. Yeah, if y'all got a couple of questions before this little wine cooler set in, <laughs> go right ahead. Chanel said her question is, "Why are your curls popping, sis?" Baby, ain't they? Aren't they? I'm on the wrong what side. What did you put in your hair? <laughs> it's um, damn. What's the name of that shit? Uh, Miel. Mint and rose. M I E L L E. Yes, that's the. I swear by it. I don't want nothing else. They got the uh mint and rosemary shit, and I use I it all. They got a what I'm using. Length retention, edge control. It's. I I don't want nothing else. I don't want nothing else. It keeps the. We got it going. Be. Martha yeah. say when she gets her book, make sure she gets some crinkly shit. <laughs> oh, you gonna get your crinkly shit. If you, if you don't get nothing else, you gonna get your crinkly shit. Believe that. See, look, she <laughs> should have brought what well, these ship and here, okay? Girl, you know what? She right over there on that table. I got cutouts of what she y'all probably, I'm probably a psychopath. I'm not going to go get the cutouts. I'm not. I ain't and I was, so, I was really, really so appreciative of Odisha joining me. She wasn't saying shit. She was like, I don't talk to you, but I'll text you. She was like, <laughs> I don't talk. I don't just talk to nobody. Me and fucking Sabrina, we got this understanding. I'm cool with that, okay? So, so she was like, "Yeah, let me tell my girl congratulations." You know, Sabrina was author the week two weeks ago, and and then listen, then she showed off because at the end of the goddamn week, here we go, we got the crew too. Y'all know how long we've been waiting on that. And that was a big old coincidence. I didn't even know that y'all was. I said, baby, that's how you shine that shit, girl. That was beautiful. I was like, these my niggas. They in sync with my spirit. I love it. Oh man, that was so perfect because I've been struggling to get this book finished. Y'all have no idea. I hope it gave you the energy you needed because listen, since we was waiting for you to come, because we were like, we had talked about that probably two weeks before the book dropped. Exactly. Oh man, I said Sabrina ain't dropped none in a minute. It's time for her to come through. 
I and then I said, I, I said, man's doing midnight mafia. Yeah, midnight mafia took a lot. I ain't blaming my sisters because I enjoy the time with them and I love them and I miss them. But it's a, a lot goes um, behind stage, you know, producing those shows every week. And I, I literally was just drained. I ain't have no energy to create. I had ideas, but I ain't have time. Like I had to sleep. But, you know, so when we went on hiatus, I was like, let me get this shit done before I, you know, break down. Let me make y'all like, laugh. My yeah. daughter is watching only to verify that I really am on live and not just ignoring her call. So, so she <laughs> can't come old shit. <laughs> I, I can't stand them children. I'm telling you. I can't stand them children. That is a damn shame. Girl, she calls Allegra and be like, well, what's my, what my mama's schedule is? What's she? <laughs> <laughs> she checking with your manager. Like, <laughs> some shit. Like, I'm going to lie or some shit, girl. Oh, oh these shit. children, I tell you. These kids. Oh, man. We were talking. Uh, y'all y'all don't have no other questions, right? So <laughs> let, let me do a recap. Ooh. Girl, Chanel said, when you going to start writing full time? Listen, Chanel. Hmm. As soon as... I can't even say y'all. <laughs> soon. It's coming. It's coming. It we, listen, it's coming. we are naming and claiming. And it's listen, coming. you know your tribe, sis. We got yeah, you. I know y'all do. And I appreciate you are always you. welcome you, to use BSB um, as one of your platforms, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Say, you. Your novellas are the best always and the full complete story. We just finished talking about that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You give us everything we need, whether it's a novella or full length. That, that's what I'm Thank talking about. Thank you. Tasha that's Lewis. what I'm talking about. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. She said we need James, how turnt you going to be at the house party? Good. I'm going to be drunk. Who is talking? I get there. Y'all be talking? Drunk Sabrina at the house party. I'm we like, don't have, giving away. We don't even have. I no don't know who that is. It didn't pop up on. Um, it sure didn't. Now I don't know how oh, you got Oh, that's Lanika. Me. That's Lanika because she called me James with her big head ass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Lanika was back in jail. She on her burner account. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> What's she in jail for now? Girl, probably called somebody a bald headed hoe or something on Facebook. She no more. You know, Mark be watching her. Listen, mm -hmm. and when you you talk about just oh my god, just bringing it, y'all. We we actually love. Oh, Kima decided to show up. It's the shit is over, and Kima just showing up. Hey, honey. Hey, Kima. <laughs> what the hell you been? <laughs> <laughs> Kima, a busy woman, man. But um, Sabrina, we want to make sure we say thank you. Um. For, for being here, uh, yeah, Maisha is definitely Naika. Lanika, we really appreciate that you joined us because when book took one the time got, out to join us, yes, no um, that would be a problem. Book one, <laughs> when book one dropped, we knew it was like, come on, Sabrina, because we, we need we need both of these books, we need to be able to. Because listen, yeah, we, we <laughs> definitely and and listen, everything that you, you're doing at the house book. Send some selfies over here because the tickets got sold out. Nobody knew, yes. you know. Two times. And, they made more available and it sold out again. I, was, I, didn't, even I didn't even hear anything about yeah. it until it was sold out. You got to be subscribed to their mailing list, man, and have your notifications on because house, you know house. Well, listen, this is what we need house you to do, okay? In the bricks. And if y'all not in the bricks, y'all need to come on and join us. Girl, I'm I know you're not using so the camera you. your curl. <laughs> I'm leaning in so I can hear you. What you been saying? Oh. <laughs> Make sure in the bricks, you let us know. See, like, when you went, you said you was going to be on Indie Love. You supposed to drop that immediately because you want to show I people. I I be dropping stuff. I I'm, I do be I do be dropping stuff. Make sure you let us know. So I'm, just in case y'all don't know, you can always find Sabrina the Bricks. I, I see in the diamond mine all the time too. She been rocking with Midnight Mafia, but um, they've been missing an action. Somebody, <laughs> don't, don't do us like that. They don't do us like that. They don't do us like that. Somebody need to holler for them. And we're going to see her if you've gotten your ticket. And I believe they may have some more tickets. Josh, if you're still in the house, let us know. But last I heard, they had some more tickets. Make sure you catch her and a whole bunch of her author friends and sisters and cousins. 
They are going to be rocking on the 25th and 26th. It's a virtual event. You don't even have to leave. That I you ain't got to put pants on. You ain't got to put your pants on. You, you ain't even got to put your pants that's on. That's the part I like. I don't want to go back I'm into the world. I'm definitely not going to have no pants on. Well, <laughs> Josh said they have eight I ain't got tickets nothing left. On now. That's why I, I said they got eight wish. tickets left. If y'all didn't get y'all ticket yet, Maisha, you didn't get your ticket. Listen, you ain't even got to leave, Maisha. If, if you was in Chicago, you could watch it from Chicago. Girl, get your ticket. Okay. Eight tickets left. Get with uh in the love. Y'all see in the comments. Make sure, <laughs> make sure y'all get there so we can see Sabrina again. I'm sure she's gonna give us some love. Oh, Sabrina, yeah. did you want to? Say anything or you, you mentioned something about a giveaway possibly. Remember yeah. to add my name to the list of giveaways. I don't know about a letter. Well wait, you see how they have to sort me out, huh? Y'all cheating. Um, I don't know. I mean, however y'all want to do a giveaway on if y'all want to do, you know, somebody you want to do, do a spin of everybody that commented. You'll if y'all in here ever, and you yeah. have not commented. Please comment now yeah. so that we can add your name to the list. And listen, make sure you share the link where we can get our book and our um in our CD or our link to the playlist. If y'all not up on that um the playlist, make sure you get on the playlist. I use Spotify. I don't know. I don't know what else it could be, but yeah, um, it's only on Spotify. That's what I use. And let me see, somebody saying choose my name, but they ain't even registered on here. That's Kima. She came late. She ain't getting shit. That's a shame. Kima, <laughs> oh, Kima look how they doing. I'm not gonna let them do that Kima. to you, Kima. Your name gonna be on that, gonna be on that spin the wheel. <laughs> I can't That's believe cold it. Blood. You know I, I love me some she like that. She might have been taking a nap because I know she working full time now. Yeah, you know, she might be working. She better but be dropping us another book soon. Oh, see, cause and I, and I recognize how these authors now say, "Hey, I ain't giving y'all no release date." Especially that damn charade. It's called, it's, this is what we call it. We created this in Midnight Mafia. It's called the hair hole movement. You, it's, you get it whenever hair you get it. Give it to your hair, hair hole. hole. I know. And guess what? I'm not mad yeah. at that because when you dropped that last book, I text Ayana. I said, Ayana, <laughs> Sabrina dropping today? She said, no, she not dropping. She just, um, she just gave a little snippet. I'm like, I know what I read. She said it's dropping at noon. <laughs> and and here ho, here you go. That's how we I do ain't it. Mad at that. That's how we do I it. Amen. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all for joining us tonight. We will be putting this on our YouTube channel. So we will definitely have some more information for you then on how we're gonna proceed with this giveaway. But thank y'all for joining us. Sabrina, you stick around for a moment. Okay. Good night, y'all. Good night, Bye, ladies.